Hello and welcome to our how-to movie, how to use Cyclone's online help and preferences. In this video, we want to concentrate on two items, successfully using Cyclone's online help and understanding the Cyclone preferences. Cyclone provides an extensive online help. This can be found from any window under Help, Contents. The online help is split into three sections. Table of Contents, Index, and the Search. Browse the Contents section for a specific entry that you are interested in. If you know the exact term you need help with, there are two ways to search for it. Switch to the Index tab and enter your keyword into the search box. The index is alphabetically organized and will jump to your entered keyword as you type. Then select a subject through double-click in order to view it. Alternatively, press Enter or Display after entering your search term. This then provides a list of the most relevant entries based on your keyword. Select a topic and then press Display to view it in the right-hand pane. For a full-text search, switch to the Search tab. This provides a wider search, but may also return less relevant content. Enter your keywords and select List Topics. Review the suggested topic list and highlight the relevant entry. Then press Display to see the full article. For any licensing questions, simply enter License as a search term. Most entries coming up here point to the Licensing and Installation Guide. This linked document outlines all license-related questions in detail. Let's come back to Cyclone itself. If you're interested in learning more about a specific command, there is an even faster way to find this information. Simply point to the command and press F1 on your keyboard. This will then open up the user guide at this specific function without the need to browse the online help. Cyclone Preferences This dialog contains vital settings which influence how Cyclone performs, looks like or calculates things. Hence it is important for every user to be aware of them. We will just review a few settings to get an overall idea of how this interface works. Open the dialog from almost any Cyclone window via Edit – Preferences. Note that there are two levels under which changes can be defined. The session level means any changes are discarded again after a restart of Cyclone. To make changes permanent, switch to the default level. Press Default to reset the selected Preference tab to the default settings. All preferences are sorted into categories under Individual tabs. The first category we will have a look at is the Units tab. This defines the various units used throughout Cyclone. The default setting is meters. The resolution settings allow you to adjust the number of digits with which any values are displayed in Cyclone. Measurement settings. These define the graphical display of any measurement made in Cyclone. You can, for example, change color or size. The Registration tab allows the user to alter default criteria for cloud and target alignment, as well as the global adjustment. Defined here are, amongst other, the maximum amount of iterations executed and when the algorithm should stop. The Fitting and Modeling tabs both define how objects are calculated and fitted based on the point clouds. There are entries for the fitting process itself, as well as various tolerances and starting values. Model Space tab. Here the user can define the look and feel of any model space or true space, like defining the viewer's background color or how many neighbor scan worlds you see in true space. Scan settings. Here the user can define whether or not to use survey mode. Survey mode Yes means that a station object is created for each scan world. Also defined here 
are the default sizes for black and white as well as sphere targets fitted in Cyclone. Next comes the Point Cloud tab. This contains important settings for the display of point clouds as well as calculations done with them. If you notice for example that not all points are being displayed in the model space, try increasing the values for load and display max points. This defines the maximum number of points which can be loaded and drawn in a single view at any one time. Note that the speed of point cloud loading and display is related to the computer's graphics card. This is also the limiting factor. Another setting here concerns the amount of points being used for any calculations in Cyclone. Change them here in the computation entries. Lastly, we come to the initialization tab. This is similar to the model space tab in that it defines settings for the various viewers in Cyclone. But in this case, the settings concentrate on if and how point clouds inside are being displayed by default. Like here, where the default color can be switched from intensity map to colors from scanner. There are many more important settings in this dialog. If you are doubtful about the meaning of a particular entry, simply press F1 to find assistance in the online help. Once all changes are made, Confirm with apply if required and then close the window with OK.